and then she moved to this location in 86, 86 I think. 86, I believe, yeah. And it's been here ever since, and then it was an evolution. And I think this is such a really important part of her story is that she never was – she never stayed the same. It was never static. She evolved as people wanted new things. Mm. So – People started getting into coffee and she got an espresso machine and people came in and then they were hungry. And so she started making sandwiches and then people started saying, do you cater? And she's like, yeah, sure. I cater. <laughs> well, and they would say, could you make us a cheese platter? We have this little thing or what can you, we have a party. Can you pair us, make a little cheese plate for us and pair it with some wine? And so again, she just evolved to what the needs of the consumers were. Yeah. And to this day, because what's interesting um, is that we don't sell cheese anymore. Um, specialty cheeses because the market does the market doesn't demand that and um, we used to joke that like anytime you would shave off you know like some of the mold or anything on the cheese you're just shaving dollars into yes. the garbage you <laughs> oh, know yeah. um, and so now we just um, have evolved into the catering and um, a restaurant w was was the cheese board still serving cheese before you took over yes okay yes so, it was so was that one of the first things you guys cut when you took over no, we, um, that was an evolution when Debbie was still here. Okay. Yeah. And what happened was we had, there's forces in the marketplace all the time. Like Whole Foods came into our city and other bigger chains started carrying those specialty cheeses. So now you don't have to come here to get it if you want it. Right. You can kill two birds with one stone going to Whole Foods. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I mean, listening to this part of the story, it kind of reminds me of Eric Reese's uh, The Lean Startup. And in that book, he talks about starting where you can, starting small, minimal viable product. For her, that was cheese and mm -hmm. wine, right? And then, and then she, she was small. When you're small, you can pivot easily. It's not yes. hard to, de to change things, to adapt to the, what the market's demand is. And then you scale over time depending upon what the demands are, right? And you yes. lean into what people want. That's yeah, exactly. That's exactly per, it. Yeah. Per, like, that's exactly what she that's was. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. It's incredible. 